Uh, I'm Mercy Larson from Larson Farm in Wells, Vermont. Uh, my parents, which is Cynthia and myself, run the farm together. And uh, I'm usually working with the cows, and my dad does the creamery stuff, but I was able to come here today. Um, just to thank everyone for this grant, which is going to help us keep our animals on the land and keep the land working in a sustainable way. So we have 30 grass fed jerseys, and uh, we started a creamery in 2017, and we have a very small yogurt filler that's very inefficient. We do about 10 gallons an hour with that yogurt filler, and this grant is allowing us to purchase a new yogurt filler that will increase that number by, I think, 30%? No? It'll, I know it'll go from five hours of filling to one hour, whatever that math is. <laughs> Definitely work with cows more than this kind of thing. Um, and uh, we're just really excited to be able to have a more efficient and safe machine for the product and for the people who work for us. And it will also allow us to co-pack with a couple of other farms that are interested in starting their own on-farm processing facility but don't have the funds or experience to do that themselves. So we're going to be able to help some of our neighbors get their own processing facility is started by teaching them to use this filler and co-packing with us. Um, I just wanted to say thank you, and we really appreciate this grant, and it's gonna allow us to keep the farm going. Um, I'm, I'm the second generation there, and I am really excited to see how this could allow our business to be financially sustainable into the future. So that's significant. You're going to have four extra hours to do something else, which is more work. But at least you freed up four hours. That's amazing. So, anyone else? Sure. Hi everyone, I'm Kent from Kent Underwood from Vermont Farm Set Cheese Company. Uh, we're a dairy farm and creamery in Southwood Sack, Vermont. Um, we're going on 11 years, we haven't shipped any milk off our farm, and during that time we've continued to work with other producers and dairy farms in our area, um, buying milk from uh, five different farms at any given point. Um, so this grant, you know, we are very appreciative, it's allowed us to uh, hone in on certain areas of our business, being uh, our beer cheeses we do, and our soft white mold cheeses, and really uh, add uh, production capacity to those two key areas um, and then also uh, another area of uh, production in, in kosher production that we've expanded to. So uh, I really want to thank uh, the NADBC to uh, allowing us to participate in this process and uh, you know, really fast forward what we're uh, excited to continue to grow with our business. So thank you everybody. So we need to do uh, we need to do a picture of the recipients. So we need to do that, and that's going to take hours to organize. And, get perfect. So, and after that, we can have product, the cheese, and ice cream, and the crackers, and jams, and jellies. Again, thank you, uh, Cabot, for hosting. Um, we've got a number of farmers here from Cabot, uh, board members. Um, thank you for making the, the trip. And uh, Cabot's 100. And how many years old now? 102, three. 1917, right? 1919. 1919. 1919. 1919. Okay. Okay. So, modern math. It's, yeah, it's, it's moving along. So, that just. <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure it out. I went to Cabot High School. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, you can't report that. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, I just speak to. I'll think about that. It probably started the similar way back in 1919 with Cabot and here we are with this beautiful facility and all the supporting they've done. So some of our small ones, you don't have to grow, but if you want to grow, that's cool. If you don't, just keep what you're doing. But this is joy of the screen. So anyway, anyway, picture time and ending time. Thank you for coming. <laughs>